this video uh, we'll be talking about that friction is a necessary evil so what does it mean this interesting word necessary evil that means you make friction but again it will it is something that you will be aware about using this friction so why is it so think about a uh, sorry, sorry think about a road Think about a road which is smooth. This is not rough, this is smooth. So the friction is less, obviously. On a smooth road, a car is moving. Ah, sorry, I can't draw that car. So let's say this is a car, this box is a car. A car is moving. So what will happen when it's moving on a very smooth, with very, I mean, this is. Friction is very less. Friction is less. It will be difficult for this driver to have control on the car. If he sees in, in, in front a car is coming, he can before if he even if he apply the brake, let's say this is a smooth road, a car is moving, car is moving. So suppose he sees in front there is a man standing and he applies a brake as there is very the road is very smooth the friction is very less so even if he applies the brake the car will still move and hit the ball why because the friction is very low the car will slide and hit the boy. It's difficult for the driver to have control on the car if the amount of friction is very low. So, so it causes accident. Now, what if in a road, think about a road where it is not so smooth, not so smooth, it's a rough, rough road, R O U G S, rough. So now someone is driving a car on this road so what will happen he will have to he, it will be very difficult for him to run on this road as there will be more, the friction is more friction is more so if there is more friction that means friction works in the opposite side opposite direction if the car wants to move in this direction friction works in the opposite direction the friction will always try to stop the car and it the car cannot go in a optimum speed it will go in a very slow speed and it has to exert a lot of fuel to move forward that means it has to the force that the car need to apply to move forward will be higher so if the force need to be higher so where this car is getting the force from burning the fuel burning fuel so that means the car needs to burn more fuel to uh, to move on the rough surface and it is also very difficult to move in the rough surface as friction is very high so where friction is less it is also this is risky where the friction is more this is also inconvenient this is also bad not good so more friction is risky sorry less friction is risky more friction is bad so that's why friction is called necessary evil friction is necessary but it should be at optimum level and optimum level if you apply more this will be the scenario if you apply less this will be the scenario that's why the roads that we travel on are are made in such a way that the friction that uh, the road exerts is an optimum one. In if if in any road the the surface is rough, then what what do people do to make it uh, more uh, smooth? Like lubricating substance. 
Okay, let's talk about this scenario as the road is rough. So, what needs to be done to make it smooth? Apply lubricating substance, then you can apply. Uh, suppose make the surface smooth, make surface smooth. So in this way you can uh, decrease this fact that friction is more and you can use this road with an optimum friction level. You can make this friction level optimum by doing this, applying lubricating or making the surface smooth. Okay, and in this case as there is friction is very less, what can you do to make it a bit of frictional? So to make it a bit of frictional, you have to make this surface a bit rough, not much, a bit rough. Then you can do uh, then uh, sliding friction is a, another thing which you can involve into this. Then static friction, not static friction, uh, static friction will help to stop then or you can use tires on the vehicle which is much more which is which is much more uh, rough r o u g s rough tires so basically using this fact you can uh, help or uh, you can do the, you can make the road more rough on on your on your necessary basis or you can make the road smooth on your necessary basis but friction is important you need friction you cannot just say that in a road I don't need any friction then accident will happen and if you apply more friction in that case also that is not also good so optimum amount of friction is something that we all need and if, they, if, if even, even if the road has more friction we can make it optimum friction even a road has less friction we can again make it uh, make it to an optimum friction level by doing some changes so that's why friction is a necessary ability. we can you need it but it can be able if it's not in the optimum level so with that i will uh, finish chapter number three force and then we will move to uh, the problem solving part of chapter three which is very important and in those parts, I'll be showing you the board questions and I'll be solving the problems which are given in the book. So I hope you understood this and thanks for staying with me. Thank you.